So to put it all together, remember, knee to the belly is a powerful control, but you have to be dynamic to where you go knee to the belly, you get off, you go. It all depends on what you're gonna what you're gonna set up. So as we're here, I set it right here, give the business here. But remember, once you go knee to the belly, if he brings his right knee up, you don't have much knee to the belly, you don't have the space. So you gotta use this a little framing as you go knee on the inside. As you go here, here, here. Okay. As we go here. Get the elbow, and I'm gonna roll him back this way here. As my chest drops, my knee drops, and you're just gonna go straight to the head. And you're gonna drive. I see you guys doing this. That, that's not gonna work. What you need is you need to be here, but your shoulders need to come back. So you open up your shoulders so that your chest bone drives and pushes on his tricep here. Because if you're hunched over, he can move his arm around. So you see how you can roll around? If I open my chest and drive my shoulder back, I can begin to roll him flat. Yeah. So remember, four knee to the belly. And sometimes you can hop up. Sometimes you're here, you're like, oh, okay. okay. Sometimes not. Sometimes you go here and mm, business the frame. And now his right knee is going to have a little bit of harder time. As you drive this in, and you immediately come up and cluster up here. One, two, three. chest, knee, and I'm still pressuring him into, I'm not just sitting here. If I'm just sitting here and I'm not creating lateral pressure, he can literally roll his back. Roll your back. I'm not control. I have to constantly keep driving so my knee is driving into him. That's why I want your left knee. Up. From here, you can grab that hand, hug the head, and drive. Towards Christian. So here, look. Right hip to hip. I'm going to give him a business with the left there. And frame this. One, two, three. Chest. Knee and still pressure. I put my chin like a hook. So even if he tries to roll his back right now, at least I can pull him with my chin. So here, instead of grabbing his arm and pushing it, I'm just gonna bring my elbow in, control his head, bring my shoulders back, and I'm gonna drive with my legs and pull with the hand. Your overall objective is not to push him flat, it's to create a counter pressure by pulling here and driving. Pulling, see, you don't, if you do too much of this, that means you're not pulling enough here. If you're pulling too much here and you're not getting it, it means you're not driving here. So it's gotta be like, you gotta like cinch it in. Look, chest, pull, chest, pull, chest, and finish. Okay? So remember, your legs, dynamic this does me no good right here I can't even barely push with that left leg and I don't want him to grab it either if you grab it keep it back and here push pull and you cinch it together last face bring the elbow over pull push through the leg once your chin connects Shoulders go back in your chest. Push it. Okay, we're last time. So the whole thing. Okay, here. You can see how his arms trap? Maybe you went here. Small hand. I mean, you could do this with a small hand. Go so here. Switch the hip. Gave him the business with the crossways. Now my legs give it him crossways pressure. My right elbow is at his knee. Bringing my knee on the inside here. And I'm gonna pop up. Open. Now from here, I'm gonna drive back. Back, 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 
back, back, back, back. My chest goes first, my knee goes down, and I adjust hips low. So the drive them laterally, walk your hip back. And the whole time I'm driving my knee into his hip. So that now, what do you want to do? This, try to push it. My right calf, pull, drive and pull. If he pulls his hand through and I can get it here, pull the head here. Drive with the shoulder, chest. He pushes my arm over his head. And bring this in like a dart. Pull right, left elbow, and chest. Try the whole thing. One, two, three. Okay.